Hi, in this video I will give you an introduction to the Omega365 general user interface. So first of all, what meets you when you log in? You get an overview of the various actions and responsibilities that you have. And uh, like here, when I have some documents that I need to review, I can just click on that uh, hyperlink and it will take me directly to the review page. Click on this icon in the toolbar on the left and it will open the mega menu where I can see all the apps that I have recently used and bookmarks that I've made. All the apps that I have access to are shown here and all the reports that I have access to. I can also search for an app so if I'm looking for the document register just type like this and I can click on it to open it. This icon takes me to the home page and uh, this here shows me which app I'm actively in now at the home page and which or unit that I see the data for. Here I have the possibility to report any bugs or any other improvement suggestions that you have for Omega 365. Here you select your context. The context is used for limiting the data that you see. So you can limit the data to the department you're working for, a contract that you want to work with, etc. Click on your avatar to access the user account where you can set the language, formatting, etc. My profile where more information about you is stored which you can update. You can read the privacy policy bookmark this URL which will then make it appear in the menu. Uh, my notes where you have the possibility to write notes and view previous notes that you have made. You clear the storage that is the local storage, the stuff that uh, Omega 365 have stored like layout of the grid and things like that. In certain apps we have the possibility to uh, use a spell check uh, you can turn that on and off here. Deleted rows will show you uh, data rows that you have deleted in various registers which support what is called soft delete, makes it possible to restore them easily and you can log out. Click on the question mark here to access user guides and here you have access the notification center where you see notifications by default showing the unread first. You have the possibility to filter which notifications you want to have and how you want to receive this notification if you want to have them by email. And you can also read Omega 365 product updates here, stuff that's coming soon and uh, other uh, features that have been made available. Let's have a look at the document register. This is a very typical layout of our apps. You have the grid here where you get an overview of all the records or the documents in this case within the selected context. And uh, if you click on this icon, you will see the details of this record, in this case, the document. You can uh, uh, click on profile which will give you more information about the document in this case. You can move around and hide and show these columns. So if I want to have the document number in this case moved over here, I just drag and drop it. You can also go to the column layout part where you have the possibility to uh, tick off those that you want to have included in the grid and you can move around also here. So in this case, I got the review responsible also showing in the grid. These layouts can be saved. Like now I have this, my own layout. I have done some changes as you saw, and this icon will then appear, click on it to save it. If I click on layouts, I will see there are several other layouts here. This could be layouts that I have made myself or layouts that's been shared with me. To uh, create a new layout, I have the possibility to click on new layout or save the one that I have now as a new layout. To reset the default, just click on this button. 
Many of the registers also have some custom defined properties. You can choose to include those also in the document register. In this case, I want to have complexity shown as well. Then it will appear in the column listing. Uh, I can search for any of these uh, fields and tick. it's ticked off already. To find the records, or in this case, the document that you're looking for, you can type in the title, for example, or part of the title. You can also use other uh, columns to filter by, like in this case, the document type. So if it's a Wessel report I'm looking for, I can do like this. And uh, you can also see that the filter is shown down here and save this filter for later use. Click Save As and give it a name. To remove a filter on a column, you can click on this X. To remove the whole filter, you can click the X down here. There are also more advanced filter functions available. Click on filters and you will see filters that have been saved and shared with you. It's also possible here to, let's say, start with creating a filter. I want to have the procedures. You will see that the filter is appearing here. And then I can build additional criteria also here. Say that I want to combine this by filtering on the face, for example. It will be added here. And I can select which face to include in this filter. To save a filter, just click uh, Save As and you have a new filter available that can be reused for later. It's also easy to export the data that you have in the grid. Click on Export slash Import, select which columns to include in the export and click Export, choose Excel, PDF or if you want to have it to CSV format. Many of the registers also support importing and updating data based on using Excel, which are formatted according to a template that you can be downloaded. Finally, we have the group by folders, which is a way of filtering for data based on the attributes organized in a hierarchy. In this case, it's a discipline and then the document type. So if I expand electrical, I can go to electrical drawings and see those there. There are different ways of uh, organizing this hierarchy. If I want to have the document type and then the main area, for example, I get it like this. This is all based on the attributes of the documents in this case. And you will see the same group by folders in many of the other registers in Omega 365. Down here, you will see which record I have selected and how many records there are in the selection. In this case, three. I can refresh the data. I can uh, access filters and columns, the same things basically that we have on the right hand side. And the filters I can access quickly from here where all the filters that I have access to are listed. Here I can set the filter that I have active as the default filter for this app. Here I will see which layout I have of the grid and if I've changed it, this icon will appear so that I can easily save it. And here I can reset the layout to the default.